today we are going to go run some errands and I've got something that has been on my mind constantly and it's a very unpopular opinion but I'll talk to you about it in the car. Hi guys! Super super quickly before we get the video started I wanted to do a shameless self promotion for my cafe press shop. It, the link is in the description box below. It's the first link in the description <laughs> and there are tons of different goodies. Some are vegan, some are not vegan that you can enjoy and there are like laptop cases and phone cases and shirts of all different varieties and lunch boxes. I really hope that you enjoy it. Please go check it out. Again the link is the first one in the description. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, please feel free to subscribe down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I'm so happy to have all of you here and I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I'm, I know I'm not. <laughs> so I recently started selling bath bombs, like making bath bombs and selling them. And I just wonder, like, how is it that some of them turn out so perfect and so beautiful like this? And using the exact same recipe, others turn out like this. Like... I don't know, or even worse, like this. Like, I've just, I've got to perfect it because I'm wasting a lot of money and a lot of resources trying to get these right. For some reason, it has just not been an easy day from the minute I woke up. I've just been very emotional today. Um, really no reason why. For breakfast, I ate some leftovers that I made yesterday. It's like this avocado pasta, not like the one that I have on my channel already, but a different kind that's like super high in protein and oh my god, oh it's so good. Oh, I, I'm gonna make a recipe video about it for sure. It's so good. On this big calendar, I made this like code and orange is prep work to make money like making those bath bombs and then blue is when I actually made money and YouTube or yellow is like YouTube so money in the future and then pink is when I went to the gym and or like worked on myself so I started it for last week and then did this week okay so now it's time for me to address my completely unpopular opinion that's going to piss a lot of people off recently a video was leaked from TMZ the gem of the internet and it was footage from the filming of A Dog's Purpose which is a movie that pretty much everybody has been super super psyched about um, and waiting for counting down the days that comes out in February and the footage was of a German Shepherd who was terrified of going into this like thing of bubbling water and it was for some scene I don't know where the dog has to go in the water and this German Shepherd was terrified, obviously, like so scared, and it took them forever to get it into the water. And then once it was forced into the water, it like was submerged under the water and everybody yelled cut and like went to help it and whatever. And everybody's pissed and they're like, I'm boycotting the movie, I'm not going to see it, I hope everybody does the same, this is disgusting, all for our entertainment, all for a movie. And I'm like, why do you care? I, here's my thing. They're mad about one dog being senselessly scared so they could have a movie, but they're not worried about the millions of animals who are senselessly killed every year because people like how cheeseburgers taste. Unpopular opinion. It was hard for me to watch the footage of the dog because German Shepherds are my favorite animal. They are my favorite breed of dog. And it was sad because the dog was very scared. But I used to work at a dog kennel and sometimes we had to bathe the dogs. I've had to force dogs into the water just like that and they looked just as scared. So it's like, what's the difference between having to give a dog a bath and that? Well, the dog needs a bath. He didn't need to go in the water. Well, yeah, he did for the movie. <laughs> it's part of the plot line. All right, all right. I, I hear you. I hear you through the screen. But Brooke, we have to eat. We don't have to see that movie. True, you do have to eat, but the American Dietetics Association has decided that an appropriately planned vegetarian or vegan diet is appropriate for stages of life at every age. Um, or for life at every stage, not only to survive, but to thrive. And it's 
it's just funny you don't need meat especially I mean some people do like if they live out in the bush or in Alaska or in a desert then yeah they're gonna need to eat meat but if you are watching this chances are you are living in an urban area you are living where there are markets and grocery stores and you can sustain yourself on a plant-based diet I don't mean to sound like a militant, crazy vegan. I mean, that sucks, because I know I do. I'm reverting back to how I was a couple of years, or not a couple of years ago, um, a year ago. And yeah, like I get it, I know how I sound. But I'm just, and I'm not trying to tell you that because you don't care about other animals, you're not allowed to care about this dog. That's not what I'm saying at all. I am simply saying, I'm trying to point out the hypocrisy in your beliefs. You're mad because they made a dog go in water when it was scared? Imagine how scared the pigs and cows are that are slaughtered every day because you like how they taste. It's just as senseless, if not more so, because at least this was done to produce art. It was done to produce something that is, is going to be a beautiful movie. What was the animal on your plate killed for? Because it's yummy? I don't know. It just, I don't, I think it's hypocritical and I think it's sad. I want to say also that it's not that I don't care about that dog. I do care about that dog and I think it's extremely sad that that had to happen. However, like I've said, I've seen the same exact reaction to dogs who have been trying to give a bath to because they hate water or they hate getting baths or whatever the case may be. And I've also seen that, you know, in slaughterhouse footage with pigs who are on their way to slaughter and they don't want to go either, <laughs> except they end up dying. They don't have like 10 handlers come and say cut and uh, like try to save the dog. They instead have one asshole say cut and cut their throat, <laughs> you know, ha 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 ha, it's funny. Uh, that's not funny. But I am on my way to the gym. I, it is my first time going to this gym. I'm super excited and nervous. I'm glad CJ is not with me because I would be embarrassed because I don't know what I'm doing. But I brought headphones. I brought my phone so I can listen to music, maybe listen to an audiobook. I brought a book just in case I'm going to be able to read it on any of the machines I go on. And that is about it. I, I'm going to go for now. So I am done at the gym. I kicked my ass. Like, look at me. Oh, I'm so sweaty and like so gross. I'm just shaking too. Um, I was there for a little over an hour, which was nice, about an hour of active time. I'll tell you exactly what I did. Um, I'm gonna go home and ask my boyfriend if this was an adequate workout because I just kind of winged it, uh, which I'm sure is fine. But. Here's what I did. I did six minutes on the stair climber, which is 26 flights. Then I did 20 minutes on the elliptical, which is 2.05 miles. Then I squatted with 10 pound weights and I did two sets of 20. And then I did one set of 15. And then uh, I did sumo squats with no weight. I did 45 of those in between my squats with the weights. Then I did the leg press. I did five sets. The first was 15 reps of 70, the second was 15 reps of 90, the third was 15 reps of 110, the fourth was 15 reps of 130, and the fifth was 15 reps of 150. I was just kind of trying to see like where I was at with that machine because it wasn't like the one at my old gym. Did 25 sit-ups, a 45 second plank, and then I went on the treadmill at the end uh, at a 3.0 grade for 0.55 miles and 8 minutes. So, um, that's what I did <laughs> at the gym and believe it or not, like that might not sound like a lot, but it kicked my little fat ass. Uh, it felt really good though. I feel really good, but CJ is home now and I want to go home and see him and snuggle after I shower. So I'm going to go do that. I think that is going to be it for my vlog. I'm going to go home and either heat up some oatmeal that I had yesterday with a banana or I'm going to put a banana and some protein powder, some chocolate protein powder and some peanut butter powder 
in a blender with some ice and drink that. I'll probably do that. That sounds really good right now. So I'm going to go do that and just kind of relax and chill for the rest of the day. I hope that you guys have a great day. Sorry if you didn't like my opinion on the a Dog's Purpose movie scandal thing, but that's just sorry like that's that's what I think I feel really sorry for the little guy but uh, I just think that it's very hypocritical when other people feel so bad for the little dog who had to go in the water but they don't care about all the animals who have the same mental capacity the same feeling capacity who feel just as scared and they don't care about those animals that are on their plates that's it. <laughs> um, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias and please check out my cafe press shop. It is the first link in the description. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for being my friend on the internet today. You go out there and you kick your ass in the gym and I will see you next time. Bye.